Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing Tomb Raider 2013 on the PC on hard difficulty, and this is my no upgrade run for the aforementioned title. And we are playing, as I mentioned, on hard difficulty. It's the hardest difficulty that the game offers, but since it isn't hard, we are doing a no upgrade run. So we're currently on part 14 of 15. And as you can tell just by that, we have one more part after this, and it will be the uh, the final chasm and the final boss battle, which is actually quite simple, rightly so. I don't like final bosses, and I think everybody can understand why. But this chapter here does have quite a few gun brawls and some some pretty good ambiance, if I have to say so myself. We're sneaking into the temple over here, and we're going to be confronted with some samurai warriors who are really cool. But they have, they pretty much are the same enemies as the shield guys. It's just that they don't have as much um, protection on them. So when you come up here, make sure you burn, burn the rubble in front of you. Um, you needn't to worry about making sounds because the enemies went through the door to the left and kind of suspenseful as well um, you will get killed instantly if you if you um, go off of the path over here so just make sure you you don't try to mantle over anything or it will just put you into a fail state so just make your way up here cross the the beam and uh, you can look around if you like there there's no penalty for that I'm not sure how they expect you to know to come over here. Maybe it's just the, the different... The handholds are kind of painted white. But there wasn't that double jump um, board that usually is in the game. So we've got some pretty good perspective here. Some pretty good depth. And... I like this chapter. It's hard, too. It's one of the harder chapters. So it's actually... You know, it's got some, some good gun brawls. Oh, I was going to say something else, too. Damn it. That's inevitable. I I, fa I failed that the first time. I didn't really fail it, but I I was just... I did that over to make sure, like, maybe you can succeed on it, but you can't. Because I was spamming the X button as fast as I possibly could the second time when I knew what was going on. So when you come down here, you're going to be confronted by these samurai warriors, and they're, I think, the most interesting enemy in the game. So, well, the first one is going to greet you, like, right as you start running down this sandy path right over here. This little ca canyon or what it, whatever it is. But, a couple of hits on their legs, you can put, you can do the, the fatal blow, but it will take two for these guys. The first one will divest them of some of their armor, particularly their headpiece. And then the second time, and then you can just shoot their, their bandaged head and take them down. Right down to Chinatown where they belong. So, I don't know. I questioned that headshot. That was definitely not anything that I earned, but I'll take it since it was given to me. So just, you know, collect your loot. Do your thing here. You can probably kill those rats if you so desire. But I wouldn't waste any ammunition on it myself. Looks like we found a day camp. I think I'll be. I'm not. I don't think I'll be going around the open world after this is done, just because I'm not feeling this game as much, and I'm just with the prospect of Devil May Cry 4. I I just want so much to be finished with this game, and I that's always regrettable because it kind of comes off to the audience that you know this guy. He doesn't want to be playing this game, so his enthusiasm level will probably not be too high. That's just unavoidable, I guess, you guys. You know, when there's a better game that you want to play, it's just hard to, to come back and sacrifice and make compromises. But this is a terrific third-person action game. It really is. I, I like it quite a lot. I just, I don't like how it's not hard. But you know me, if it was really hard, I would be complaining and bitching and, you know, I, I hate that about myself and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to work on that, you guys. 
you know, because this is a channel based on the hardest difficulty and like why complain if it's easy or what, excuse me, why complain when it's hard when I actually want it to be easy and vice, you know, not, 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 not vice versa, but this is one of those hard engagements that you, you look at it and it is hard, but then you realize within like five kills that they checkpoint it for you. It's just... It's just, it's not cruel in the way that an older game would be to you. But to conserve ammo, definitely shoot these exploding, um, like volley, big volley, mothball type of things. Because they deal almost instant death to these guys. So, right over here, and maybe it just seemed like that because I got a lot of instant kills. Like right here, you'll see a checkpoint. Well, you probably won't see any checkpoint, you'll see an edit. I'm currently seeing a black screen. <laughs> but it should resolve itself, hopefully, in a minute. If not, we'll just talk about the weather, I guess, because I refuse to exit out of this session. So I do know that a, a kind of a, a bridge will come down and you'll be fighting these enemies. If you don't know what's happening right now... Well, okay, finally the black screen went away. Okay, here's the guys with the shields. Um, you can still hit them in their heads, but what I would really do, because that really isn't going to do too much because of the headgear that they're wearing. So, keep shooting those mothballs. Or not, aren't they like matzo balls or something like that? Those those huge balls. Those things I was thinking of, not like mothballs. Sorry about that, I'm, I'm an idiot. You can kick these things too and push them away from yourself. Strangely, oh yeah, I know what I was going to say earlier. You, there are no sensitivity settings for the camera. There are sensitivity settings for the aim, but not for the camera or for the look. Like when you're looking around. And this game does have its own self-directing camera, so you don't ever have to move the camera. But I personally do like to move it. And when I say self-directing, I just mean that it's always going to gradually gravitate towards her back so that it, it kind of centers itself to kind of so that you can just wash your hands of even controlling the camera and I think that I think that ultimately it was a decision about the frame rate because it usually is however it does it does rule out the need to to use the camera and even use sensitivity options but I still would like to have them because it doesn't it doesn't uh, take the place of the camera. It just kind of assists with the with uh, like the subtle moving of the camera when you're not doing anything with it. But I didn't die over here. I could have died many times all over the place. <laughs> but with these samurai warriors, you want to treat them in the same way that you treated the guys with the shields. So, either when they when they swing, just dodge to get that little slowdown where you aim right at them, or you can just shoot them in the head, which is uh, another good idea because um, they're only protecting their chest area, they're not protecting their heads, and they never raise it to shield their heads either. And this is, I think there's also, when you're, when you're playing this, you'll see some some uh, some swaying of your character because of all the fierce winds down here and it's really annoying really bad but I do think it's it's also criminal that you cannot rebind where the where the guns are located um, pro you see I'm using a I never use a mouse and a keyboard and I presume you can do it there but I think the more options that you give the player the more he's going to feel co comfortable in your world that you've made. You know, uh, we're only talking about four measly options to put the guns where we want them to be, you know? it's It would be so easy. So anyway, we're almost finished with this battle, I think. So things to look for you, do, you just continually look for those exploding balls um, I've seen people just use the arrow on campaigns that's pretty impressive I also don't know 
I just can't remember. It's been so long when I played this game with upgraded um, like armor and you know the the pain resistance stuff. It's just been too long, so I don't remember how much easier this game is with upgrades. I assume it's extremely uh, extremely easy. But looks like we have some more guys jumping down here, and uh, this is actually quite challenging to survive. But did I die? No. <laughs> There you go. Go down the hole, you fucking big pig bitch. Aw, oh, man. I'm just gonna recline a little bit, you guys. Put the mic a little bit closer to myself. So this game... You can take it or leave it, I suppose. But... I think that... It's good to have it represented on the channel, especially for, for somebody like myself. I'm sitting further back from the mic, by the way. It's good to have it represented on the channel, especially when I've, I've, I've started this project two other times and deleted it twice over. And I, I do apologize about that, and that's why I'm sticking with this even though I don't want to play this right now. I want to play Devil May Cry 4 and cancel that guide when I get stuck. Obviously, I'm just kidding, but... There's some truth to it, some, some pretty serious truth to what I said. <laughs> anyway, so I don't think I'll be able to do the Halloween projects, as I mentioned, because the Evil Within is something that, that keeps not allowing me to download it. Um, for the simple reason that it's, it's huge. It is a huge game. I've never seen a game as huge as this game. The Evil Within, 50 gigabytes of of files that need to be downloaded. Uh, and the thing is it keeps pausing it keeps pausing and I can't download it so I don't want to do it. And if you're wondering what I was wanting it for it would just be to do a guide for the Evil Within's DLC The Consequence and I don't know why you just can't download The Consequence. It's either The Consequence or The Assignment whichever one I never covered. It's it's just really horrible what they did with those DLCs. Just put a filter on it and called it a difficulty. Sad. Really sad. But this fight's stretching on to be very long. So, tactics over here for survival. That shoulder swap. Um, doubling back in your tracks. Trying to get these headshots making sure that you abstain from using the shotgun at range because it's just not going to do much it's up close and personal with the shotgun or it's just it's not anything at all in my opinion and uh it's not like that in every game strangely so with everything cleared up there's going to be an edit over here because this was taking kind of long but it's just directing us to this and then we're going to be doing a puzzle and then that's it there's no more battles but I think we've had our fill of battles for right about now. I was thinking of something funny earlier. When you stumble upon enemies and you're doing stealth and they see you, like the first thing, and I've mentioned this before, the first thing they say is, I need help. You know, where's my backup? I need some help here. Wouldn't it be funny in Ninja Gaiden 2 if when an IS ninja saw you, like he said that? Hell no, that would never happen. <laughs> I need help, you know. I need help. I need some help here. I can't handle this by myself. Can you guys help me out? <laughs> I just <laughs> thought that would be so funny. Anyway, this is this is really really confusing. So open open the the hole there. Um, pull this one up. Pull it all the way up because if you don't pull it up, it will fall down, and uh, you'll just lose a couple of minutes of progress. Okay, that's gonna pan over there. Then you want to come back over here and close the lid. How did, how did I know how to do this? I looked it up on YouTube. Some 15 year old told me how to do it. And I think somebody else had to tell me how to do it when I originally played this game because as you know, I abhor puzzles. So you want to pull this thing back, you guys. And I believe it's going to crush the rock wall. But that's not going to be over quite yet because we need to get on top of that. So the next thing you need to do is just to come back over to here. I made a mistake right there. Just come back to this crank. 
pull it down and then you're going to be going to this upper floor the lid has to be closed here by the way go back to this upper floor there is a treasure up here if you choose to get it and stand right about here pull it up to you hold the x button jump on top of it and then jump up this uh, this jump wall do the kick jump up here well, I'm not sure what it's called it's kind of a double jump and then that's it you'll see a final base camp it will tell you that time that uh, traveling between the camps is not possible anymore or something like that and for some reason she kept looking backwards over here I'm not sure if it was part of the storyline or maybe it was just some kind of a glitch but this has been the second to last chapter you guys I am very grateful that everybody is here and I'll be even more grateful if you stick with it to the final video Thank you very much, and take care of yourselves. This is the final base camp right over here. Point of no return, it says. And we're going to go exit out of this room and go to the chasm. So don't worry. I'm not going to say it. Take care.